This video covers the calibration of the MGS 400 series. Here we have a list of the equipment required for the calibration of the MGS 400 series. Most importantly, you'll need a smartphone with the MGS 400 app. First of all, let's look at how to set up the Bluetooth connection. So if we review the equipment we have, here we have a 402 and a 410. We also have the magnetic wand. That's the part number for the magnetic wand on the side. We have calibration gas. This cylinder is the zero gas. The details are on the front and this cylinder is nitrogen, which we use for the CO2 detector that we're about to calibrate. The cylinder is fitted with the regulator, which is in the off position. We have the calibration tubing and the MGS 400 calibration adapter. So let's start the MGS 400 app. You open up the app and it'll look like this. You click the Bluetooth button at the bottom to uh, start the connection process. Then you take the magnet and you tap the left mag switch. You should hear one single beep, which means that you're activating the Bluetooth on the MGS 410. You need to wait for the MGS 410 to give a heartbeat sound with a beeping pattern. That's what I'm waiting for right now. And it looks like I mustn't have hit the mag switch when I went with the magnet the first time. So I'll try it again. Okay, I got it that time. Single beep. I'm using the app to search while I'm waiting for the heartbeat. When the heartbeat comes on, there's it on now. That means it's transmitting. So I will use the app to search again for the Bluetooth connection. And there it is in there. This is assuming that the pairing for this detector has already been set up. So the Bluetooth connection is now established. Now we move on to zero calibration. The first thing you need to do is to select calibrate from the main screen. That'll take you to the unlock code entry screen. The default unlock code is 1234. It won't let you enter any more than four digits. Once that is selected and been entered, it will take you to the calibration screen. You then press the scan zero barcode and scan the QR code on the side of the zero gas cylinder. That enters all of the zero gas data into the app on the calibration screen. And that information is used to produce the calibration certificates at the end of calibration. There you can see all the data has been entered. Then you need to fit the calibration adapter to the detector. Note that it only goes one way up and it slots into the two slots either side of where the sensor is fitted. The next thing that you need to do is to select start zero on the calibration screen. That will start a countdown on the phone, which is counting down your zero calibration. And you then need to turn the regulator on to flow zero gas to the detector. The countdown on the screen shows how long the gas is needing to flow and that will count down to zero. The LED on the device goes through a sequence of colors. That sequence is noted in the manual. You can see the countdown on the screen and it's counting down in seconds and the zero gas must flow to the detector for that amount of seconds. So you need to wait until that countdown reaches zero.
Just zoom in a little and take a closer look so you can still see it counting down and also the LED going through its colour sequence. Now we come to the end of the zero calibration countdown. You can see it's almost finished, almost reached zero. You can also see that the LED sequence has changed. The zero is now complete and the LED has gone solid green. So you can see when the countdown finishes that it goes back to the main calibration screen. You can now turn the regulator off to stop flowing the zero gas. And remove the calibration adapter. You can now swap the gas bottles over from the zero to the span gas. So you remove the zero gas cylinder. So that's the cylinder off the regulator. You now get your calibration gas, which is the required concentration. This is also detailed in the manuals. And then you fit that to the regulator. You now need to enter those details into the app and the way to do that is exactly the same way you're looking for the QR code on the side of the cylinder and you're going to select the uh, scan span so that's it right there it'll open up the camera and allow you to span that code on the side of the cylinder and that will enter all of the details of the span gas into the calibration screen and that is then used for the production of the PDF calibration certificates at the end of the calibration process. Fit the calibration adapter again. Then you want to select start span it will start the countdown and you need to turn the regulator on to allow the span gas to flow to the detector. So you'll be able to see on the phone screen that it is counting down and also note that the LED on the device is going through a colour sequence. That colour sequence again is detailed in the manual. So there is the countdown counting down on the app. The LED is changing and you need to wait for the countdown to reach zero seconds. So now we move on to finishing the span. You can see that the countdown has almost reached zero and you can also note the uh, LED light sequence. As soon as it reaches zero, the countdown flicks over into calibration recovery and it starts another countdown. This is the recovery process for the sensor in the gas detector. Again, the LED sequence changes. The details of those colors are noted in the manual. You can now turn the regulator off because the span process is finished. We're in calibration recovery. So you can stop flowing the span gas to the detector. You can then take the calibration adapter off the detector and you simply wait for the calibration recovery countdown to get to zero seconds. Okay, it's now approaching zero seconds and the LED sequences are detailed in the manual. Once it gets down to zero, it's completely finished its calibration recovery, takes it back to the calibration screen and the LED is solid green. That is the calibration complete. Now we'll take a look at the certificates that have been produced. So if you go to the main screen, select on the menu button and select view logs. 
you will see two logs there, one for span and one for zero. The zero one shows you the details of the zero certificate. Here you can see all the details of the device, the date, the fact that it was a zero, the fact that it passed. A lot of the details on here can be customized. You can enter your own logo for the top of the certificate. You can enter the operator's details and you can enter the customer's details as well. So this is fully customizable for you to use for sending to your customers. All of the details of the gases that were used for the zero and the span are also detailed within this certificate. So let's take a look at the span certificate now. Very similar in detail, of course, but this is for the span calibration. So there is two, one for the zero and one for the span. And again, you can customize that logo by entering your own logo file so that it is your company's logo at the top of the certificate. Again, all the details of the device, the calibration, the gas is used and the results are stored within this PDF file. And that PDF file can then be emailed to your office, emailed to the customer, stored for reference. And that's the calibration process complete with the uh, certificates completed also. Thank you.